I'm going to talk about the strengthening of digital forensics, align digital forensics and cyber strategies, security strategies to reduce risks. So to my person, my name is Nils Renken. I'm from Germany, so excuse my accent and excuse my not being able to speak Arabic other than Salam Alaikum, Alaikum Salam, and Abdullah. Except, so I am with Magna Forensics in three years. I am, previous to that, I've worked for a, um, to a phone security company. I, am, I have a big IT background, so 26 years IT, most of that in, in Unix, Linux. I don't know who knows Unix, who knows Linux? You. Perfect. So today we talk about cybersecurity. And a lot of people know that the cybersecurity landscape is evolving. There's more and more threats coming. Data security, privacy regulations are going more and more difficult because people want data to be, to be protected. You, know, you don't want the data going out there everywhere. You know, you want to have the, your, your data needs to be secure. And the most important part is cost. Costs are ri rising, costs to protect your data are rising. However, also costs to make your data safe are, are raising. And then to prevent data leaks are raising. You have to spend more in, in training that your people, that your employees know how to protect data. You also need to invest more and more tools that you have the tools that protect your data as well. And then you have to put in more and more data into the teaching, into the trainings of your cybersecurity officers that they are always aware of the new standards. So one very interesting thing is that the cyber incident drives the most investigations, which is true, cybersecurity is the top one, but regulatory compliance isn't far behind. And when you see, look here, where's this little key here? When you see here, phishing emails, very popular. I get them, I don't know, three times a day, I get a phishing email, very, very popular, number one. See here, malware infected endpoints, number two. Regular compliance, number three. And you see that these are inside threats. You know, you believe the email comes from outside, but the phishing, someone inside your company has to click on the phishing email that things are triggered. Because people always think, hey, my EDR solution pr protects me perfectly from outside threats, which is true. However, they don't think that the actual threat can be from inside because people haven't been trained so much. You know, do you spend a lot of in training? Are you trained for that? You are. Perfect. The next part, involving cyber attack technically remain the largest problem in investigations. Involving cyber attack techniques are huge. Budgetary constraints are huge as well because people want to, companies want to save money. Why do they want to save money? Because they have to put in margins. We are all, all companies are driven by margins. You know, you, your employer want to make most money out of it. How can I make most money out of it? When I save somewhere else. And where do people save? Oh, let's save in IT. Why? Because it's so easy. You know, how can I save in IT? By getting less licenses by getting software that does somewhat what I need, but not really what I need. So the employees have to find out ways to protect the company. Then increasing volume of your investigation data. So think about your EDR solution. Think about five years back, it was manageable somehow. Yeah, you had, could have like five, six people who stared on the, on the screen managing that part. Nowadays, you know, you have cyber attacks every minute. Big companies have cyber threats coming in every minute because they are so popular, because people want to get in. You have to find ways, you have to find ways to, to, to deal with this increased volume of data. 
and time consumption. You know, security is takes a lot of time. It, you have teams that are 24 by 7 who are just there to protect your, your privacy, to protect your products, protect your company. And people don't see that. They see, like, you know, you're, you're, most of the big bosses see, hey, we have an ADR solution, that's fine. But I don't see the effort that, takes the, that it takes to actually protect it, that there are people around the clock working in your cybersecurity apartment to try to make your, soft, your, your company safe. And there's like the one other thing is you have to find the right tools. You have to find the right tools, for example, like Mitre Tech Framework that helps your security specialist to identify threats much easier because a framework is, is a commonly used way how people can talk to each other. It's like a language. Last but not least, challenges with the IT. Because IT is always there, and IT is always the comp is always the department that no, we cannot do that because it's not compliant with our IT. Who 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 likes your IT? So who has problems with IT department? You know, you have a printer. You have IT. Are you the IT guy? No, but your IT is always no. You cannot install your software because it doesn't is with our with our compliance. You see that, and you as well. Oh, IT is always. Oh, we have to deal with IT. We always get that all the time. IT doesn't like it. However, people don't, and the problem is that we avoid the dialogue with IT. Because we always get there, we want to implement a new software, and we always get with the mindset in, they don't like it anyway, so they won't do it. So I will be get, so most people get to the IT apartments are kind of grumpy. We have the software, we want that, they are kind of grumpy. No, you get you, we don't install it. The more important way is to get have an open dialogue. Hey, we have this software. This is new for us. How can we make it work that we can implement it? What do you need from us? What what software? What information do you need that we can work around it? This is the software that would help us to 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 lower the costs, for example to be more efficient. And efficiency is important in a company because efficiency, efficiency saves money. And efficiency also helps you to be much faster. And this is why it's so important to have this open dialogue with IT department and tell them really, hey, what do we need? What do you need from us to ensure that the software is working for you? How can we make things work? Can you go back? So, and the great thing is, what we heard earlier is, oh, we don't like SaaS, we don't like cloud. Who don't? So, what is cloud for you? Do you like cloud service solutions? No. So, who likes cloud solutions? Who's a Microsoft company? Who uses Microsoft services as a company? You use Microsoft services? You, you might say, okay, so you are a cloud computer co company. The funny thing is that most of the software used is quite often SaaS software. Most companies are Microsoft companies. Why? Because it's easy to implement, it's easy to store, they have OneDrive, you can work from anywhere, you can work from home, you can work from your office. However, how does it going to be realized? By SaaS, by cloud. And the thing is, SaaS is one of the most cost-effective ways how to leverage software. It's easy, it's updated, and they're very, very often. You don't have to take care of the updates. The software, the SaaS service does, because the SaaS service is always, always going to be on the latest version, which is important, because especially when you work with EDR solutions, you need to have the latest software. You need to have the latest you need the latest security information. You need to have the latest fingerprint of your ransomware, of your malware, of your, of your phishing, whatever. 
and how can you make that sure that it happens? The easiest way is having a SaaS hosted environment because SaaS would help you to keep your software up to date when it needs to be up to date. And it's, this is a high number, 79% already use this type of, of, of software, even if they actually don't know. So there's a big part, well, that's difficult to read. There's a big part of EDR. EDR, this is a huge iceberg. Everybody knows the tip of the iceberg is just what you see. However, things down there are much bigger. So the EDR solution is your real-time monitoring, is what happened, what is going on right now. But there's a huge but. There's a huge thing behind it. And this is where things come off like, well, it's hard to see, like forensic information. It's like, why did something happen? What happened? What did change on the computers? What did change within the network? Because a lot of people think, hey, I'm, I'm good with the EDR solution. Something happens, I get an email or an alarm, but they don't know what changed on the computer, what has been altered on the computer, what has been compromised on the computer. And also knowing that a lot of threats are come from inside who actually triggered this event, why it was triggered. And this is one thing, EDR is one thing, but there's also like this huge compliance thing. There's all the H HR investigations. Who did share doc doc document? Why it was shared? Should the person have access to the document? Or pictures that has been taken from other employees that shouldn't been taken? These are other cases than ADR solutions. And this is where you have to need a, where you need a forensic software to go into the depths of the data where you can do a deep dive investigation of what actually happened. I always say it's forensics. The person has to be dead, basically. So when the person is dead, you have to learn why, why the person died, what happened. And this then will help you to create a new sense of, of policies. How can we prevent it next time? Do we need to train our personnel? Do, we, do they have to be more training? Do they get more security awareness? Do we have to change policies? Do we have to change things in our, in our way, how we handle incidences? Do we, this is very important in the whole learning of process. And you don't get that if you only look at the EDR. You can see, you can think happen, but for to get the good picture, you have to do the forensics and investigations. And you have to do that to create more alignment with, with new policies, with new regulations. And this is where we have a huge product line that actually can help you with this type of investigation. We have Axiom Cyber that will help you to deep dive in the data sets. We have Magnet X Nexus that can help you triage endpoints where you can say, hey, is, is the endpoint affected by, for example, by malware, ransomware? Do we have things on this endpoint end of data that shouldn't be there? Like somebody shared documents, for example. Then we have Backed One, which is a huge implementation of a duct like where you can actually monitor, like manage your whole, whole department, where you can hold, manage your whole data sets. We have Magnet Review because a lot of companies work collaborative. You know, you, you are in one office, your co-workers in a different office, and you have to try to work together. And this is where we have Magnet Review where you can work on cases together because quite often you have not only one person, you have two, you have three or four people working on one case. And how can you manage that if you have only a desktop software? That's going to be hard. And automation. You have a lot of tools in your, in your software and your environment. Yeah, you have EDR solutions, you have probably other, invest, other monitoring tools, and they quite often don't talk to each other. Yeah, do you have tools that talk to each other? No. And with Automate, you can make them talk to each other. With Automate, you can, you can use your existing toolkits and make it work that they can actually work with each other, which is, there's, there's no other solutions that right now on the market that we have. 
So you have your EDR solutions, you have your other software solutions, you have our solution, and you can make them perfectly talk to each other. Basically, one alarm got triggered, it would trigger an automation where data collection goes on and on and on and on. So having your toolkits working to each other is a huge benefit for you in your environment because the time to evidence, the time to, to solve cases are going to be much faster. And very important is simplicity. Simplicity of e you can use e-discovery data, you can you have into response cases, and you have your internal investigation, which I mentioned. And just some ideas, you know, how it looks like. You have a phishing email, you have your EDR alert, you have your digital forensics team get an alert. Then you can use our software to rapid collect data from this endpoint. Then you can look through the data with, XM, with our software. And then you can create an alert, a report, and say this happened at that time, and this is how we can prevent it next time. Another idea is a person has uploaded sensitive documents to a cloud storage, in this case, Dropbox. You get an alert because data has been shared. You can use automation that collects data automatically, then use XM Cyber to look at the data again, create a report, and then you have a team that is decentralized that can work on this case together. Critical document that has been shared. You get an alert again. You can then send out Maxim um, Nexus to the to the endpoints where you know that the data has been stored. You create a report again. Hey, we have we found you know these documents and those those endpoints, and then you can do a deep dive investigation. How did the investigation? How get the data there? Last but not least, employee resigned. Check if there's anything that the person leaked. Yeah, maybe it did. And then check the data with our review tool together. So very important is that you cut out the noise because there's a lot of noise in your investigations. And our solution can help you to cut out the noise to really focus on the data that really matters to you and to your investigation. And this is why we have Maxit Axiom on our server, and we have another software which was very key. So, and this is like another, there are quite a lot of different solutions that we have.